blood. It comprises 8% of the body's weight and acts as a transportation system, moving oxygen, nutrients, and waste through the body. Though we understand the importance of blood, most people do not realize there is an extensive infrastructure in place that allows for the sharing of blood. This sharing has helped transform modern medicine. Called blood transfusion, the process has taken many years to perfect. A pivotal element in the process is the hospital blood bank. This video will focus on the role that the modern blood bank fulfills within today's healthcare industry. We will look at the process within the blood bank and get an idea how it operates, how it handles blood products, how it tests these products, and how it issues products to the right patient every time. The transfer of blood from one person to another has a long history. Early attempts at blood transfusion were met with failure. The first recorded attempt at transfusion was performed in the late 1400s when the blood from three boys was infused into a patient through the mouth. In 1667, the first successful transfusion was believed to have been performed by John Baptiste Denis. The success rate of his and other early efforts was around 50%. It was not until the early 20th century that we would understand why. In 1901, Dr. Carl Landsteiner first distinguished the major blood groups. As we now understand, the principal components of blood are red cells, the cellular portion, and plasma, the fluid portion. Attached to the exterior of red cells are antigens, which determine the blood group and type of an individual's blood. Today, blood transfusions are a common medical procedure, with approximately 5 million transfusions performed each year in the U.S. alone. Blood transfusions are typically used to replace blood loss during surgery or a serious injury. During a blood transfusion, a small needle is used to insert an intravenous or IV line into a patient's blood vessel. Through this line, the patient receives healthy blood. The process of getting blood from donor to patient safely is a critical function in the healthcare delivery network and the infrastructure to acquire, transport, test, and transfuse blood is extensive. After acquisition, blood is typed and tested extensively for a variety of infectious diseases. This testing helps ensure the safe transfer of blood from donor to recipient. These activities are carried out in a blood processing center. Ultimately, blood products arrive to the local hospital where they are managed by the Blood Transfusion Department, or Blood Bank. Blood banks play a significant role in keeping the nation's blood supply safe. And the best way to understand the blood bank is to visit one. Our visit was conducted in the city of Chicago. Chicago, the third largest city in the U.S., is well known for its museums, pizza, and its sports teams. It is also home to many excellent health care facilities. Among these is Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Affiliated with Northwestern University, Memorial is a teaching hospital and recognized as the most preferred hospital by Chicagoans.
Well, at Northwestern, we always uh, keep in mind that there is always a patient on the other end that we are here to help and uh, serve our patient. Like all hospital transfusion departments, Northwestern Blood Bank receives, tests, and stores blood. The department works to ensure the correct blood product is given to the correct patient. Northwestern differs from some hospital transfusion departments in that it's an accredited blood bank, meaning that they can perform certain procedures to modify blood products for specialized use. Examples include irradiation, washing, and concentrating procedures. At Northwestern, requests for blood products come from many areas in the hospital. Two primary sources are from the intensive care units and the operating rooms. So what does the blood bank look like? How does it function? We can best answer these questions by looking at three of the major activities, product handling, testing, and issuing products. Northwestern does not manufacture a product. In other words, they do not have a donor program to accept blood donations from the public. Like most blood banks, they purchase blood from other entities. In this case, the majority of blood product is purchased from the American Red Cross. The purchased blood arrives through the main doors of the laboratory and is carted to staging areas. There, it is unpacked and medical technologists begin the process of receiving the blood into the laboratory. This is a multi-stage process, but in general, the products must be unpacked, tested to ensure that the blood unit is labeled correctly, and then the unit must be entered or verified into the laboratory's information system so that it appears in the inventory. Finally, it is stored in one of many refrigeration or special storage units. Because of the critical importance of matching patient and donor blood, highly skilled technologists perform compatibility testing. The most common test is the cross-match, whereby the blood of the donor is verified to be compatible with the blood of the patient. This is performed for every potential transfusion. The type and screen is also very common, given that this test provides the information needed in order to cross-match. When a patient at Northwestern needs blood, a tube is drawn and sent to the laboratory. The tube arrives through the pneumatic system or a designated lab window. Then the tube is registered in the laboratory information system so that it can be tested and properly billed. The tube is then sent to the benches where it is centrifuged for three minutes and placed in an instrument rack.
At this blood bank, the three automated systems used are the Immucor Neo, Echo, and Galileo. This rack is loaded onto the instrument and tested, in this case performing a type and screen test. If the test is positive, there are more tests required, such as the antibody identification test. At this lab, the Emucor Echo is utilized for most of this type of testing. There are also some manual procedures. An important resource in the lab, the testing automation, requires preventative maintenance. Northwestern goes through a maintenance routine each night to ensure that the instruments are working at peak performance. The Immucor Neo is the workhorse of the lab, performing type and screen and donor testing. The Immucor Echo is used for a variety of tests to include antibody identification. Northwestern issues over 80,000 blood products annually. The products are stored in refrigeration units.
process for issuing the product is to verify the compatibility, check the product out of inventory, and secure the product so that it can't be used by mistake. This is accomplished with a locking system. The locks secure the product so that they can only be opened with the correct code. The code is contained in the information system, which the ordering party can access only with the patient's specific identification. This is the profile of one American blood bank. It is one of hundreds of hospital-based transfusion departments, working with donors, donor centers, blood suppliers, and physicians to ensure that the blood you receive is safe. 